Ghost played very well, particularly the second, the second half, and two great goals by Demi. That's a capable, that kind of, that kind of stuff. Got the first half, uh, we, played, we played well, I think we played with, with, uh, within ourselves a bit. Second half we came out and began to dominate the game, got the first goal. Uh, yeah, we the second goal was a piece, I mean, so two, two or three players, two the, two the goalkeeper, we stepped it in, uh, I think the game was over at that sort of stage, uh, and we dominated the rest of the game, and I think we were the, the best team on in the day, to be honest with you. It's, like, you know, it's a great feeling winning a trophy, especially the first trophy of the season. Um, it just goes to show the hard work that we've put in so far, it's starting to pay off. Um, but delighted, delighted that we got the two goals and a well deserved player of the match. The character of the team, you know, to keep pushing and keep pushing. Nil nil at half time, we just kept saying, well, what can we do now? How can we win this game? And we're a real testament to the club that we pushed on um, and had that never say die attitude. Ecstatic, you know, we came through the night, just we weren't coming away without the trophy. That was the mindset, and it has been. For the last couple of weeks, you know, we've been playing well, we know we're on form and we've brought great additions into the team. And when we came in the night, we knew if we did the good things right, then it was always going to come home. But credit the Sion, they really put up a fight. Um, but we were solid at the back and I thought once we got the first goal, then a couple of seconds later Demi got the second and I just um, keep it tight at the back and, and we knew we were going to win. And do you think this is a real sort of building block for the team to kick on for the rest of the season? Hopefully it is. I mean, I feel it is. I mean, the players are very confident. Uh, I mean, even, even at half time, we're saying that in the dressing room, they were saying we've lowered two gears here. Uh, and I think they proved that in the second half. Uh, and I, st I still think there's another gear to go yet. Uh, but another big game on Monday, Monday night, and we've got to lift it again. And then another big game on Wednesday night. Yes, the Blues. Uh, it's not easy, so I mean, it's, it's, three, it's three games in six, six, six days, so it's just about playing, recovery, playing and recovery, and take one match at a time, that's all we can do really, and see where it sort of takes us, but we have a good squad of players, uh, the two at the back are brilliant, I mean, they pick us up at the back, playing really well, we give the girls a lot of confidence to go, to go forward, uh, we're now in a really good attack, attacking team, so we're all very confident. Uh, and just see what the sort of takes us on. Yeah, I mean it's the first bit of silverware we have, but the next six games are going to be tough. We'll final the night with a quarter on Monday, and then we'll play on field on Wednesday. So it's just taking it game by game and make sure we recover well in between. These next couple of weeks are massive, are massive for us um, in terms of the league and in terms of cups. But obviously, it's fantastic to go in with the trophy under the belt already. Um, hopefully, we can carry that momentum forward and. We've got Clivenball next up in the quarter-final, so that will be our next focus um, to try and get the win there and then we'll, we'll look forward to the league against Linfield. So they're two massive, massive games for us and for the club, but um, like I've always said, the, the strength and the depth of the squad this year has been fantastic um, and hopefully we'll be able to utilise all the players to come out the right end of the result. Yeah.